Colin, and I wanted to create this video to just give a quick, or sort of quick, overview about my experience with UX Academy Foundations, design labs, design prep course that students can take before they start on the full UX Academy. So I completed UX uh, Foundations a few months ago, several months ago, and the experience was really awesome. I, it was a really awesome design prep course and I got a lot out of it, a lot more than I was expecting. And the value for the money and my skill set expanding it was a lot. So specifically about the course details. So the course is split up into eight units. There is, um, let me find them. There is the visual design basics is number one, UI design principles is number two, UI design elements is number three, design evaluation and critique is number four, designing for multiple devices is number five, images, icons, and logos is number six, color and typography is number seven, and then the final unit, unit eight, is the 10 hour design challenge where you put together all of your skills that you learned in all the previous units and you, you know, work for 10 hours to, not all at once, you know, you can split it up um, if, if you want to, but you create a design of, a responsive design of a desktop, tablet, and mobile uh, landing page. So altogether eight units and the units are structured where well, the course is structured where you can do one unit per week. The units usually take about 10 hours each, sort of. And so you could do, you know, 10 hours a week for eight weeks, or you could do two units per week, which, you know, would be 20 hours a week and complete the course in just four weeks. Now, the one thing about the course estimates is they, they're almost accurate. So the 10 hours per unit, that is, you know, just for the unit itself, that doesn't take into consideration any iterations that you do on your designs. So I found it closer to about, you know, 12 to 13 hours per unit based off of, you know, doing the original designs plus all the iterations before all of my work was approved. So it isn't too much more, but that's just something to consider. So about 12 to 13 hours per unit. And I completed the course in eight weeks. So I was, you know, doing about one unit per week. I found that that works a good pace for me just because I was working full time at the moment. And I could have that one mentor session per week to just discuss that one unit. And yeah, it was really good. I know some full time people are able to complete it in four weeks, but you know, I wasn't, I did the full eight weeks. But yeah, that was about the course details and about the specific value for the course. Uh, the biggest things I really loved about it was the, is the mentor sessions. So the mentor sessions are, you get eight of them. So it's, you know, one per unit and they're one hour each. And <laughs> a big thing that I would give is always come prepared to your mentor sessions because there was only, there was only one that it happened where I just came super unprepared and I had no idea what to talk about because I hadn't finished any of my designs yet, but always make sure that you come prepared to your mentor sessions. It can seem like a lot to figure out like, Oh, how do I fill up this entire hour of what to talk about? But there is so much to talk about. I realized as you know, time went on and when I went to the later mentor sessions, not just the coursework in general. Uh, aside from that, I talked a lot about just, you know, design articles that I had found online and just the state of the UX design industry as a whole, just networking tips, going over job applications and they're like sometimes ridiculous requirements. So I learned a lot getting to do that from a mentor. The mentor sessions were probably the biggest reason the course is so valuable. You're not just going at it alone. You have someone that's there to keep you accountable and someone who can spot check your work and tell you, you know, Hey, 
you know, why are you doing this? Or why did you choose this? So that you can help better defend your design decisions, which is what you're gonna have to do in UX design when you uh, get a full-time role. So yeah, mentor sessions, biggest, biggest value for money for the course. One interesting fact is I actually used the course, for me it was uh, about $500. And I was able to use my second stimulus money, which, you know, the second stimulus was uh, $600. So I was able to use that to pay for the course. So that was good. Worked out really well. <laughs> and another tip I would give, aside from utilizing the mentor sessions, is make sure you can have the mentor sessions at a set time, which, you know, Obviously it's, it's hard to do sometimes. I was working full time and I know a lot of people are gonna be working full time when they do this course, since it is just like a part-time course. But I would strongly recommend to, you know, have your mentor sessions at a set time. The way that the mentor sessions work is, you know, you go into the, da the design lab dashboard and you submit a request for, you know, the mentor, the times that you want to do the mentor sessions and then your mentor will confirm it. And that's what I did. And my mentor sessions are kind of all over the place. Sometimes I would have them on a Tuesday. Sometimes I would have them on a Friday. You know, there was no set schedule. And now that I'm in UX Academy and I have it on a set time every week, you know, every Wednesday at noon. So it really makes it so that you have a sort of deadline in place to make sure that you get all of your designs at least to a semi-polished level so that you can have something to present during the mentor sessions. So yeah, definitely make sure you set up to have your mentor sessions at a set time every week. And another thing I would recommend for the course is just to utilize the Slack channel. Design Lab has, you know, obviously they set up a UX Academy Foundation Slack channel and a lot of people post, you know, design jobs, design opportunities, volunteer gigs that you can do to help build up your portfolio. So I would strongly recommend just making sure that you're active in the, the Slack group because yeah, all those resources that I mentioned and people also post, you know, you know, different design resources that you can try and participants that you can use for your user research. And then also, Another thing, I never did this during foundations, but you are able to do it, which you can attend a group critique session. And I know Design Lab, they recommend attending at least one group critique session during UX Academy foundations. It's not required, but they just recommend it. And I never did one, but now being in UX Academy, you know, the full boot camp, I realized how amazing group critiques are so you know obviously group critiques it's where you spend an hour and you have about i, I know that they cap the sessions i think it's to 11 people or it might be like 10 to 12 people that they cap the sessions to and you just uh go around and you give critique to different students you know, work. So like they start the session where some, they say like, do you have anything to present today? And you will say, you know, oh, I want to present my designs or I want to present my research plan. And you don't have to have something to present, but you know, it is usually good. You can't just go there to give feedback, but I would strongly recommend for, for a UX foundations person to do one of those group critique sessions because they were very valuable in getting feedback from your peers which is it sort of mimics how it would be in the real world where you know you're getting getting feedback from colleagues on different designs and design decisions so definitely do that and that was yeah basically my main tips have a set time for mentor sessions so that it feels similar to a deadline and then utilize the ux foundation slack channel and then yeah, you know, attend at least one group critique session as a UX Foundations student. And overall, I really love the course. That was basically it. I'll show some pictures of my work. Um, I did have, uh, well, in my eyes, I consider that I progressed a lot from the unit one 
to unit eight when I did my final design challenge. But yeah, overall, I really love the course. I finished it and then I used it, the 10 hour design challenge for my, you know, for my admissions piece to submit to UX Academy. And I was, I got in and I'm in UX Academy right now, um, about halfway through it. And I'm going to be doing a review on that, uh, the th different phases for UX Academy as well. But yeah, overall UX Academy foundations prepared me a lot for UX Academy and it's a really awesome value course. I liked it, liked it a lot better than my springboard UX course that I did. It felt a lot, design labs course felt a lot more robust and more cohesive. So yeah, overall awesome experience and yeah, just let me know if you have any questions down below.